We're back from traveling around Asia and today will be our first video in our UK series. And today we're at Royal Ascot for the famous horse racing. We've just put a bet on, um, I'm going to have to remember it now, £10 on horse number 12 which is Frankie Dottori's horse. And if we win, so if he comes first, we get 82 pounds. And if he places second or third, we get 17 pounds. And we just got a tip from someone outside. So hopefully, he seemed very nice. So hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed. So what are the chances our horse um, is gonna come in? Well, I don't know. I don't know how many horses there are in the race. Maybe, there's, it looks like quite a few. So, so we, we had a good tip of this horse winning, so we put a bit of a bet on. Hopefully we could uh, get our money back or even get first prize. Yeah, <laughs> first prize. And then if we win that money, I'm not going to want to do any more no, bets we'll for the bet rest some of the more. day. We'll do some more bets. <laughs> so they're going 38 miles an hour. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he's second, he's second. Consistent, second. We don't want him to go fast because it's good that he's there second. There we go, he's around now. We want him to like blast the last bit. He's coming around oh, the... he's coming around the bend. Oh, he's second, he's second. Oh, he's first, oh, he's first, he's first, he's first. No, shit, come on, shit, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's dropping behind. Oh, he flopped it. He was like, no, we didn't win. <laughs> Let's go make another yeah. bet, though. So, this is the tipster board. And for each race, there's basically a tip, which is who's the favourite to win the race according to which newspaper. And you've also got um, Bet with Ascot and Bet with Ascot first too. So they put up who they think is going to win the race. So it's like good for betting. But then as we just bet on that race, we lost. So <laughs> sometimes tips don't work. <laughs> I can hardly see you with my hat like this. <laughs> I'm not used to wearing a hat. Oh, they're now doing the race winner. So we're on race four now. We're going to put another bet down. And we are looking to bet on... We don't know. We don't know, but well, we like... We... Honeygirl. But we like the name Honeygirl. It's a one mile race. We betted on two horses. One... Um, again, Frankie Dottori, I don't know, we're maybe making a mistake Hopefully he comes in this time. And then it is actually a favourite, Jumbly. So we'll see. Jumbly's currently number four and Frankie Dottori is second. But this was what happened last time, he was second and then he just dropped all the way back. So that might not be a good thing. Look, he's Come second. On. Come on. Oh, oh Jumbly! I think everyone oh, better on Jumbly. Come on, we want Frankie Dottori to win. Number seven. Number seven. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Here they come. Come on. He better not back down. Yes. 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 Bert's first time coming to the races, so I just wanted to ask you, what do you think? Well, it's very, um, it's very British. Lots of people with nice dresses on, dressed in a three-piece suit. Um, yeah, it's really cool to see, and everyone here having a great time, and a lot of betting, a lot of shouting. The atmosphere <laughs> is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it's really nice because I've got really good memories um, from Ascot because I live in the local area, and actually that's how we got our tickets. Yep. We got our tickets on a local ballot, so you can enter, and if you live locally, you can get them for free. So I actually got them off someone who lives locally, but I yeah, live locally this was as well. literally last minute. Yeah, because we really were, last minute. Yeah, we weren't supposed to come. All of a sudden, you yeah. managed to get us some So amazing tickets. that we got tickets. Um, but but. Do us, when you're editing, do us a favour and just put... I'll put the, the prices up. Yeah, put the different ticket side. prices up on the screen. But there's different types of um, tickets that you can get. So um, we're in Queen Anne enclosure and that, take, that allows you into the grandstand and you can walk around, you can see the parade ring where we've been looking at the horses um, and you can actually, as I said, stand in the grandstand and get a good look over the racetrack. Um, but the Royal Enclosure is the top tier before boxes and hospitality. But Royal Enclosure, it's quite strict on what you have to wear. The men have to wear top hat and tails and the ladies have to cover their shoulders and wear a nice hat. 
um, and it's a bit more expensive and you're closer to the Royal Box. So yeah, we'll put the ticket prices up and the different enclosures, but there are different levels of tickets. But yeah, we're really lucky to be here and in Queen Anne enclosure. One of the really nice things about Royal Ascot is everyone puts in so much effort into what they wear, matching their hats with their dresses and everyone's wearing all sorts of things and all sorts of colours. It's so nice. Um, but I, because it was so last minute, I actually got my hat this morning in the charity shop. So it doesn't matter where you get your pieces, you can still get really nice things. As Bert said, Ascot Races is very British and it wouldn't be British without having a pins tent here. <laughs> so they have a huge bar and we just checked. I don't know if you can guess how much it is. They sell it in a glass or they also sell a jug. So a glass is £13.50 and a jug is £37.50. <laughs> it's quite a lot. It's not cheap. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and uh, some celebrities come to Royal Ascot and that's Amanda Holden. <laughs> With the back of her. <laughs> With the back of her, yeah. And everyone's getting photos. We just spotted her. I wanted to point out that it's very clear that a variety of people come to the races. So I think you have people that are genuinely really interested in the horse racing and place bets and they absolutely love it. They live off it and they are just here for the horses and the racing. Then I think you have couples, or a mixture of people, but people who come for a lovely day out. They love to get dressed up. And then you have another selection of people that just love to have a drink and get absolutely smashed. And I'm sure they're here for the betting and the horse racing as well. But yeah, there's a lot of people here, such a variety. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I just wanted to ask, your outfit is beautiful. And I just wondered if you could talk me through your outfit. So my hat is actually rented. I don't go to many race days a year, so I just went for a rented option. It's from Liberty Bell in Norfolk. And then my dress is amazing. It's from Kitri. It's the Megan dress. It is amazing. I'm obsessed with the little back detail. I wanted a bit of a jacquard feel, but also I'm kind of feeling like a jockey today with the kind of prim. And then I've also got some ego official heels, short but sweet, that just go with the look. And then my little bag is embellished from ASOS. Lovely. Yeah, I, do you know what I was going to say? The dress is beautiful and I love that it is like jockey, yeah, <laughs> jockey it's print. It's definitely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what, um, why is it that you come to the races? Do you know what? I love a lovely day out with friends. We always know, see people we know and it's just such a great day out. Great atmosphere, great people. Yeah, but I would, I'd love to say that you look beautiful and I did spot you both from a while away. So. Oh, thank you. This is actually my mum. Oh. She's awesome. Come on. Oh. Come on, come on. <laughs> we need to get her in. Yeah, so please, if you don't mind, please could you talk through your outfit as well. Okay, then. My dress is a mango dress. My hat is from the same place as Ruby, Liberty Bell in Akel in Norfolk. And believe it or not, this fabulous bag is a new look bag. And my shoes are warehouse. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> love it. Or high Street. Oh, yeah, actually, do you know what? what? I love it. That's amazing because I think, uh, do you know what I love as well? It's the satin. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, and it just fl is so flattering. So. Dresses. So we've pin. gone for the bag option of pinning it there. Great idea. <laughs> we just interviewed these two lovely ladies and now Georgina is getting interviewed. And after all of that, we are deciding to get a subway. We didn't. We decided not to get a £20 burger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tonight, I'm a rock and roll. We're back from travelling around Asia. Sorry, I went in. <laughs> We're back from travelling around Asia and this will be our first video in our UK series. We're at the Royal Ascot race. <laughs> We're back from travelling around Asia and today will be our first video in our UK series. In today's video. <laughs> I said it wrong, didn't I? Yeah. I was thinking 